Yvette Torbido. You want to get in front of the microphone, please? You have a red light violation on Dave Gavitt Way and Washington Street, which is the service road to Route 95. Um, is that the one for the day of 1-2-2019? Yes. Um, that's not my vehicle that my t that license plate is attached to. Um, I actually, my vehicle was stolen and it was total in the event. You have a police because report? The, is, that's the police report to the stolen vehicle and the missing license plates. Um, so there are tickets that are under my license plate um, and they were both for parking, um, overnight parking. And at that point, I, um, I was living between my aunt's house and my friend's house. Um, so I really had nowhere else to park my vehicle. Um, at that point, I was working um, part time. So I was working enough to pay my car note, but I was in school full time. Where did you go to school? I was in school for cosmetology. I just finished in um, January. Good for you. You're Thank working? you. Um, I was working. I, um, I have a child. I have a four year old child. Thank you. Um, so I stopped working at the salon because I wasn't getting paid sufficiently enough. Um, I am working now at Metro PCS as a manager, um, and we actually just got stood up yesterday. So um, I'm just happy that I'm alive. Um, I can pay the tickets, um, but I just don't think that I should pay for the tickets where the license were stolen. Well, I happen to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what was the... 10, 10, 18, Your Honor, they were stolen. Okay, and you never retrieved the car? No, sir. The only two tickets you're responsible for are two overnight parking tickets. Is it booted? Yes, right. and those were... Um... I got it. Okay, now before I make a decision on this, I missed something that you were telling me. You started to say that something happened at work yesterday. Yes, um... I was at work and I was doing a training and a gentleman had came into the job um, and my coworker and I were joking about it prior to this happening, you know, and it ended up happening in real life where this gentleman came in and he's like, open the register. So I looked at him like, is this a joke? And I chuckled a little bit because we were just joking about it. And he continued to go behind the register with a knife in hand and asked if I wanted to get stabbed. So... Um, we then ran to the side of the register and he was kind of chasing us um, towards that side. So she ended up getting cornered by him with a knife and he said to us, you know, I have your friend here. If you don't open the register, I'm gonna stab her. So I opened the register and I proceeded to leave where he chased me and she stayed inside. Um, so he went back to the register and I went back to go get her. And I was just laughing about this yesterday because it was, you know. But now the realization. We're safe, you know. But think talking about it now, I have a son, and it could have ended up a lot worse. What well, you did everything right, and we're going through what's called post-traumatic injury now. You think about it after it's over, and it gets worse, you know. So. Inspector Carrigan is confronted with these situations quite often. I mentioned earlier that he is on, on the uh, SWAT team and he confronts these situations. Do you have any, any, any advice, Inspector Carrigan? Your life is worth about any more than money. Open the register, walk away, give them what they want, and then call us immediately, really. It's not worth anything at all. Just give them what they want, walk away, do what he asks, get them out of the store, call us. You know what I think you need? A break. I do need a break, <laughs> and maybe a shot of tequila. <laughs> well, I can help you by dismissing the tickets on the second one. It's not my deal. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck to you, and congratulations on the courage that you displayed. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, things will work out. Thank you. Let's recap. Yvette is a single mom who's had her car stolen and totaled, she's been living between her friends and her aunt's house, and yesterday she was chased by a knife-wielding maniac. No kidding she needs a shot of tequila. <laughs> After hearing her story, so do I. Hey, Yvette, 
Even though Judge Caprio says tequila is not his deal, guess whose deal it is? That's right, your Patron, the one and only Don Julio Quinn. And while I may not be able to dismiss your pocket tickets, I can definitely buy you a shot. Or two. You earned them. Ruth Berenson. Good morning, Ruth. Ruth, you have, um, let's see. You have a parking ticket on Hope Street. Very serious offense. And you have two speeding violations, on, one on Blackstone Boulevard, one on Elm Grove Avenue. If you wish to contest the case, plead not guilty and you can come back and have a trial. Are you in a fighting mood today? Not with you. Not with me. Well, I'm going to sigh of relief, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I am married, though. I have other choices. Inspector <laughs> Quinn. Inspector Quinn, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sometimes I don't start off on the right foot. Did I ask her for a date or anything? <laughs> I, I'm going to plead the fifth run, and I'm staying out of this one. I don't know. She told me she's married. I didn't know if I asked her for a date. I mean, no. <laughs> and no, I, I didn't. I didn't want the, to say the word who the, I would have a fight with, but oh, the operative word is, I am happily married. Are you happily married? Very, thank you. Okay. And it will be 50 years next October. I'm sure all 50 of yours were happy. Is that right? Are you kidding? <laughs> five, five years happy. <laughs> I don't know, but we did put a sign on the bathroom mirror that says, you're not a bargain either. Oh, okay, well, uh, we haven't progressed to that stage in my marriage yet. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the parking ticket. That's on Hope Street. Right. Um, I never got it. I never saw it. No, the invisible I, ticket. And I asked out front where on Hope Street, because there's only two stores I would go to and park on the street. One of them doesn't open until 10. Mm -hmm. This was at 8.54 in the morning. Yeah, and... You drive a Toyota? I do. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> Either you or, or the fellow that you wrote to, on the mirror to. <laughs> Judge, for the bargain. No, <laughs> the I, bargain had the car. Yeah, the and, bargain. And, and I mean, it could have been. I can't say it wasn't me, but I never saw the ticket. All right. On the parking ticket, I'm going to waive the $60 penalty. It's going to cost you $30. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Ruth has been married for 50 years and has a sign hanging in her bathroom that reads, You're no bargain either. I've also been married for 50 years, and I like to say that I have been happily married for five years. So what's the common link between these two long-lasting marriages? Humor. Couples who laugh together last together. It has been said that we should laugh when we can, apologize when we should, and let go of what we can't change. So laugh out loud, laugh often, and most importantly, laugh together. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, Go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.